A page without ink is a thought that got away. Dun, 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 dun. Sounds like an episode of Batman or something. A page without ink is a thought that got away. I like stuff like that. When it falls onto the page and all of a sudden your imagination is going, oh man, we're digging in today. We're going deep inside. This is going to be dark. It's going to be fun. Creative imaginations that just grow from a thought that didn't make its way to a page. The mind can't be that full these days. I mean, you, you, you see people all the time trying to think and it's like, just let it go, man. If it were a burp or a fart, you'd let it go. Why can't you let your thoughts go? I do believe we think way too much. But to sit in front of a page without ink is no different than sitting in a movie theater in the total darkness. Eventually, it's going to start, right? Do humans suffer from mental constipation? Here's what research shows. Lifestyle factors such as stress and anxiety create such mental challenges. Mental constipation. It's actually called unprocessed emotions. Letting it sit there in your heart. It won't move. So we walk away. We'll deal with it another day. In fact, maybe if we ignore it long enough, it'll just go away. Which is so untrue. It's got to move. Time to grab a map and start hatching away at the rooting system to let it go. You've got to process your emotions. Get them completely away from your system of choices. There's just too much going on in the world. I get it. But when there's no ink on a page... That's a thought that got away. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I'm a daily writer. It's junk like this, man. It's, it's stuff like this that comes to the page, and we're going to talk about it because there's no way I'm the only one that's dealing with it. This is The Daily Mess. One of the toughest things that most people here in the South deal with is springtime and summertime allergies. What makes it worse is how individualized these allergies are. What I suffer from is nowhere near what you might suffer from. Therefore, the medications are usually completely different. Having a reaction to nature keeps so many from stepping out into the beauty of this planet. Watching the sunrise from inside the house isn't the greatest experience. Yet, once outside, whatever's invisibly flying around in the air is going to rip your lungs to shreds. You can't help but feel like, you know, the boy in the bubble. Nobody asks for this. One day you wake up and it's like, mm, I can't breathe. How are you doing today? Oh, I can't even sneeze. <laughs> you got to keep the oxygen moving, man. And sometimes the only way you do that is to breathe through the mouth. The headaches, the watery eyes, the sneezing, the coughing, the slime balls. Oh, these loving allergies. Funny thing. Not once did I suffer from allergies during the COVID lockdown. What? I don't remember suffering from even a cold during the COVID lockdown. What? Where's the research on this? What will science say this time? I know. A page without ink is a thought that got away. There's your thought. How were you living during the lockdown and what has changed since the lockdown? All of those emotions unprocessed. And if you don't think you're still not holding on to emotions from that lockdown, you got to think again. You just set them over here and thought that if we get back out here in the new normal, it'll all just go away. But it's not. It's not going away. So the ink that's not on the page and the thought that you thought got away has not. And so you start thinking about, well, what can I write about? How can I get inside? How can I break this free? Think of things like that. What hasn't changed since the lockdown? And then when you run into your allergies or you run into a cold, a sore throat, you're going, this didn't happen during the lockdown. You know something that I started during the lockdown? I became a master chef at preparing soup. I love creating every form and flavor of soup. It's just what I do. There you go. Now you have something to put ink on the page. 
What did you do and discover during the lockdown? We've got to get rid of all of those thoughts that you have put over here in the corner and you need to release them because it is time for you to get out here in the new normal. But if you don't deal with what you mentally and physically went through during that lockdown period, it's going to haunt you the rest of your life. Now, go try to get a professional to listen to you. You're going to end up on a, on a, on a computer screen. If that's what you need, you've got to do it. I suggest that you do it. But you've got to talk to somebody who is professional. But you're locked up. And your new age allergy are your thoughts. They're clogging up everything you've got. But you won't set it free. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.